Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you all are doing good. So in our last video, we covered classification of microorganisms on the basis of oxygen requirements. And we also discussed about a laboratory test to check the oxygen requirements of microorganisms. That video, I ended with a question, why different microorganisms have diverse oxygen requirements? Or in other words, we can say, why aerobic microorganisms use oxygen? and anaerobic microorganisms don't use it. So the answer of this question you are going to get through this video. Let's start. So you see, if we talk about oxygen, then oxygen when enters into microbial cell, it actually causes some kind of toxicity and that toxicity damage microbial cell. Now you may be thinking what kind of toxicity results once oxygen enters into microbial cell. Then here, First, we are going to make our concept clear about oxygen toxicity. Then you should know that oxygen toxicity actually results after entrance of oxygen into the microbial cell in two ways. Okay. Now, the first way is cellular enzyme inactivation by oxygen. And the second way that leads to oxygen toxicity inside the cell is cell damage by toxic derivatives of oxygen. So, what significant difference you are finding here in two ways with just name of these ways. So here what is actually there? Directly oxygen is involved in inactivation of the cellular components like enzymes. And here oxygen is not directly involved but it is actually the toxic derivatives which are formed from oxygen. Right? That lead to actually cell damage. Now one by one we are going to understand each of these category. Let's first talk about cellular enzyme inactivation by oxygen. As we all know that oxygen is a strong oxidizing agent. That's why oxygen oxidizes enzymes, right? Or reduced functional groups, that is thiol groups, right? Which in turn can lead to what? Inactivation of the enzymes. And once enzymes present in cells are inactivated, of course, the metabolic machinery of the cell, microbial cell will be arrested. And it will lead to what? Damage of the microbial cell, right? One of the very good example under this category is of nitrogenase. Nitrogenase is an enzyme which is involved in biological nitrogen fixation. And it has been reported that even a very small concentration of, of oxygen can irreversibly inhibit the activity of nitrogenase, right? That's why nitrogenase is protected by leg hemoglobin and formation of nodules in plants by some bacteria where nitrogen fixation is carried out, right? Or some other mechanisms are used by a different type of bacteria which use nitrogenase to carry out biological nitrogen fixation to protect this enzyme. Like in cyanobacteria, nitrogenase is protected in the form of heterocyst, right? So this is one of the very good example which comes under this category. Now we are going to have a look on second category that is cell damage by toxic derivatives of oxygen. Then here you should know that cellular enzymes if we talk about, there are many such cellular enzymes which actually require oxygen during the catalysis of different reactions. When enzymes catalyze reactions, then during that time, enzymes add on electrons to the oxygen and reduce it, right? That leads to formation of toxic derivatives. Photochemical reactions and radiations. These are another factor, right? We can say in the presence of light, various kind of photochemical reactions occur inside the microbial cell, which leads to the formation of toxic derivatives of oxygen. And similarly, when ra uh, radiations are there, microbial cells are exposed to some kind of radiations. During that time also, sometimes toxic derivatives are formed from the oxygen, right? Which in turn can lead to what? Cell damage. And another one is Flavoproteins. If we talk about flavoproteins, then you should know flavoproteins are very important proteins which act as electron carriers in electron transport chain, right? Which is a part of aerobic respiration and electron transport chain leads to what? Energy generation, right? So here flavoproteins which are acting as a electron carrier in case of electron transport chain, they also reduce oxygen, right? and convert in, into various kind of derivatives which can be responsible for causing cell damage. Now in general we have just 
noted here what kind of sources are involved that lead to the formation of these toxic derivatives right now question comes what are those toxic derivatives so through the help of some chemical reactions we will come to know that what kind of toxic oxygen species are formed or we can say derivatives of oxygen are formed right so now first first reaction you can see here when oxygen combines with electron then it result in formation of what superoxide radical and whatever superoxide radical is formed here it can further combine with hydrogen and an electron and it can lead to the formation of another toxic oxygen species that is hydrogen peroxide right and another important reaction is that hydrogen peroxide formed in uh, this reaction and superoxide radical formed in this reaction they both can again react with each other and their reaction actually leads to the formation of what hydroxyl radical right and one more reaction is there which involves hydrogen peroxide right so hydrogen peroxide when reacts with electron it can and hydrogen ion it also uh, results in formation of what hydroxyl radical so these are the three toxic derivatives of oxygen we can say or toxic oxygen species which are responsible for causing cell damage okay and that comes under the umbrella of what oxygen toxicity right now you should know here uh, one more thing i would like to tell this reaction what i have shown here where superoxide radical is going to combine with hydrogen peroxide and leading to the formation of hydroxyl radical it is actually catalyzed by what chelated iron right and now we should know how these uh, oxygen species are uh, uh, toxic derivatives because it has been reported that superoxide radical is toxic to many cellular components and if we talk about hydrogen peroxide hydrogen peroxide is actually not um, um, free radical we can say but it is a powerful oxidizing agent that can oxidize various cellular components and make them inactive right or impair their normal functionality and if we talk about hydroxyl radical then hydroxyl radicals are one of the very important we can say very reactive kind of Uh, species which is known in organic chemistry so it can destroy almost every kind of cellular constituents once it is formed in high concentration in the microbial cell and it is not going to be if not neutralized right then it will be of serious it can lead to serious concerns with regard to the microbial cells and results in causing microbial cell damage right so this is all about the oxygen toxicity concept and according to this concept oxygen is actually having negative impacts uh, when it comes to microbial cell because of its toxicity that results from these two ways which leads to what damage of the microbial cells right now we are continuing this topic here so earlier we have learned about this microorganisms microorganisms we have studied in general if we talk about these are of two types one type was those which was requiring oxygen another type was what which was not requiring oxygen that we have discussed in previous presentation means some microorganisms require oxygen and other type don't require oxygen right so now which require oxygen they are actually obligate aerobe we call them as obligate aerobe strict aerobe which require oxygen to support their growth right micro aerophiles micro aerophiles also require oxygen it is a strict requirement for them but the requirement of oxygen is too less in terms of the concentration required that is 2 to 10% concentration of oxygen is required by micro aerophiles when compared to obligate aerobe which can use even atmospheric concentration level of oxygen that is 21% right now if we talk about don't requiring oxygen then of course the example is what example or we can say the type of microbes are obligate anaerobes right now question comes why it is so they require oxygen because they have the ability to use oxygen in metabolic processes and why it is so that they don't require oxygen simply the answer is what unable to use oxygen in metabolic processes so superficially i can tell you i am going not going in detail here about the metabolic processes but if i talk about metabolic processes then those microorganisms which are able to use oxygen right or we can say which require oxygen they are actually following respiration right as one of their major metabolic pathway for energy generation and there they use elect oxygen as a terminal electron acceptor right so on the other hand 
obligate anaerobes if we talk about which don't require oxygen they are not having respiration as their major metabolic process okay to generate energy they actually use fermentation to generate energy to produce energy where oxygen is not used as terminal electron acceptor right that is the reason that they are unable to use oxygen in metabolic processes because they have no such kind of metabolic process which make the use of oxygen right now question comes if these microorganisms have the ability to use oxygen in metabolic process then is the uh, concept of oxygen toxicity is not going to be implemented here what we have understood earlier in our previous slide so now this is, this is the point you need to think if oxygen is toxic to all microbial cells and toxicity lead to damage to microbial cell then how these microorganisms can use the oxygen as a terminal electron acceptor in the aerobic respiration process how they overcome the problem of this oxygen toxicity then of course the answer will be what it means these microorganisms are having some kind of detoxification strategies okay and if we talk about these microorganisms which are unable to use and they have developed some uh, kind of some other kind of metabolic processes in order to survive or adapt in the environment when oxygen is uh, not there in that kind of environment they can um, be their growth can be favored it means they are having no protective mechanism no protective mechanism for what oxygen toxicity because it will be oxygen toxicity will result in both type of microorganisms right but it depends what kind of microorganisms have developed those detoxification strategies and other category has not developed right so these detoxification strategies will be against what of course against what toxic oxygen species which toxic oxygen species which we have previously understood in a very well way under oxygen toxicity concept they were superoxide radical hydroxyl radical and hydrogen peroxide right and one more thing i would like to tell you here that in addition to these microorganisms what i have listed here there are some other microorganisms facultative anaerobe and aerotolerant anaerobe which actually can use oxygen as well as cannot oxy use oxygen because they have such kind of metabolic pathways flexibility that they can switch between both environments if oxygen is present then they can grow and if oxygen is absent then even they can support their growth because of the presence of metabolic pathways in them right so well now uh, we are again coming back to learn about what kind of detoxification strategies these microorganisms develop right so toxic uh, toxic oxygen species we are very much clear so against these species microorganisms develop detoxification strategies and these detoxification strategies are actually what they are actually enzyme based right so there are three enzymes which are mainly involved so let's see the first one first one if we talk about this is showing us what superoxide radical superoxide radical get neutralized in this way using by this reaction right here it get convert into what oxygen and hydrogen peroxide right so hydrogen peroxide you may be thinking it is again toxic oxygen derivative yes of course because it is a powerful oxidizing agent right as i told you earlier so again it further neutralizes by some uh, in some other reaction and it gets convert into neutral products like oxygen and water and third category is what hydrogen peroxide by me in the presence of some reduced substrate like nadh right can also be neutralized into water and again oxidized form of nad right of we can say reduced substrate this is the oxidized form of reduced substrate so all these reactions which leads to the neutralization of the toxic oxygen species we can say are catalyzed by what as i told you enzymes so what are the enzymes involved here so the first reaction what what is involved in superoxide uh, radical neutralization that is catalyzed by what superoxide dismutase the second reaction hydrogen peroxide hydrogen peroxide actually is uh, neutralized uh, into water and oxygen by means of which enzyme catalase enzyme right so whatever hydrogen peroxide is uh, um, also generated as a product of superoxide dismutase catalase reaction it can also be further neutralized by it will also be actually neutralized by further catalase reaction right to form neutral products and third reaction what i told you hydrogen peroxide can in the presence of any reduced substrate can also be converted into neutralized product but this reaction is catalyzed by peroxidase enzyme right so these are the 
एंजाइम बेस्ड डिटॉक्सिफिकेशन स्ट्रेटेजीज विच आर यूज बाय वी कैन से एरोबिक माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम और दोज माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स विच रिक्वायर ऑक्सीजन सो नाउ वी आर कमिंग टू वर्ड्स अवर लास्ट लाइट ओके दिस विल बी अ काइंड ऑफ समरी स्लाइड एज वेल एज हियर आई विल बी टेलिंग यू वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट ऑफ एंजाइमेटिक प्रोफाइल ऑफ डिफरेंट माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स राइट सो दैट विल बी द आंसर ऑफ अवर क्वेश्चन सो टाइप ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स वी आर ऑलरेडी क्लियर ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ ऑक्सीजन रिक्वायरमेंट एंड हियर इन ब्रीफ वी कैन ऑल्सो सी ऑक्सीजन रिक्वायरमेंट सो दीज ऑल पॉइंट्स वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन डिटेल इन अवर प्रीवियस क्लास सो वी आर नॉट गोइंग फॉर फर्दर डिटेल लेट सी द आंसर नाउ राइट एंजाइम प्रोफाइल एंजाइम प्रोफाइल इज एक्चुअली द आंसर वाई डिफरेंट माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर हैविंग डिफरेंट ऑक्सीजन रिक्वायरमेंट्स If we talk about obligate aerob, obligate aerob are actually having all those three enzymes which are responsible for detoxification of toxic oxygen species. Catalase is there, superoxide dismutase is there, and peroxidase is there. Right? These all three enzymes, what I discussed in previous slide as detoxification strategy, uh, strategies, these all are present in obligate aerobs. it means they are going to having that kind of enzymatic profile that are going to neutralize the effect of toxic oxygen species formed right that's why they are quite comfortable with oxygen uh, rich environment and they can follow uh, accordingly the metabolic process what we call as respiration and i will be telling you in next point uh, obligate anaerobe of course they are not having any such kind of enzyme facultative anaerobe they are having these enzymes but they can grow in both and kind of environment oxygen rich as well as if oxygen is deficient right aero tolerant anaerobe so this is the enzymatic profile for that sod is present but the other two enzymes are not present right microaerophiles micro in case of microaerophiles catalase can be there but its activity actually is generally low right and sod is present superoxide dismutase peroxidase is present so just because of the enzymatic profile right we can say different enzymatic profile of these microorganisms germs are actually they are having what different oxygen requirements right so this is actually the major reason responsible for diverse oxygen requirements or we can say different oxygen requirements of different microorganisms or aerobic and anaerobic microorganisms right and next you should know here i am not going in depth here for metabolic processes of these microorganisms but here in one line i have also mentioned what kind of energy source or we can say energy generation pathway they follow obligate aerob actually follow respiration obligate anaerob they follow fermentation and autotrophy facultative anaerob fermentation and respiration because they are comfortable with both oxygen deficient and oxygen rich environment aero tolerant anaerob although they grow equally in the presence and absence of oxygen but they follow fermentation as their major metabolic route for what energy source generation uh, energy generation right and microaerophiles of course they require oxygen we can say they are aerobic type of microorganisms and they follow respiration right so these are the ways by which energy is generated but of course here we have not covered in detail each of these pathway and now examples one one example i have also listed here so i hope this content is really going to helpful to all of you thank you so much keep watching